go ahead and use the equation solver on the Casio. I'm going to use a energy equation where I have kinetic and potential. I have to substitute variables because I don't have a full range, don't have the whole alphabet available. So I'm doing one half times the mass, which I'll use A, times the velocity, and I'll call B. That's one half mv squared. So that's my kinetic. And then my mass, again, is A times my gravity. I'm using metric here. And then, uh, of course, why would you not? Go away, imperial system. And uh, the height, I'm going to use C. Now, this was giving me a, a headache a minute ago, but fortunately for you, it was off camera. Uh, the fit I threw is, is done. Uh, I'm back composed here. I have to tell it, I put the comment in there, and then I need to tell it what variable I'm going to be solving for. So let's say in the first equation, I want to find my velocity. I will put in, uh, I'm using B to represent velocity. And once I do that, I can go then into the solver, which is shift on the calc key. And it says, okay, what's your E value? Um, I was given that that was 64.25 joules. My A is 0.1 kilograms. My C is 10. So I just type these in and solve for B. I can give it a guess. I don't need to. I'll just say, yeah, 3. That's fine. Hit equals and let it work. And it comes back with an answer of 30, roughly 33 meters per second. So that's pretty slick. And then let's say the next problem or a part B of that problem was solving for the mass of the object given that the um, height was 10 meters, the initial height. So what I can do is go back in and I have to go back up and edit this because I'm no longer looking for B. I am now looking for the mass which I used A to represent. And hit equals, oops, sorry, hit solve. Okay, E is 64.25 so I can just hit equals. B, I'm going to use 27 for my initial velocity, or sorry, my velocity. And C is 10. That didn't change. I think I said that wrong. What's different here is this time we were given, or no, I did say it right. We were given a velocity, I might have said height, but we were given a velocity of 27. Okay, solve for A, sure, 0.1, probably, I don't know. I don't, I'll just hit equals and let it figure out. There we go, 0.139 kilograms. So very simple, the only hassle is you have to change after the comma, you have to tell it what uh, variable you're gonna be solving for. All right, let me show you the same thing on the sharp. 